cleanest and most efficient. What about radiation or what about accidents? Super powerful. Hey everyone, welcome back to All Things Nuclear with Dan. Today we're unlocking the science behind one of the most powerful energy sources on Earth, nuclear energy. Sounds complicated, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll be explaining it like a pro. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video about the future of energy. All right, let's get into it. Everything around us is made of atoms, these tiny building blocks of matter. At the heart of every atom is the nucleus, packed with protons and neutrons. And here's where things get exciting. Nuclear energy is produced through a process called nuclear fission, where the nucleus of a heavy atom like uranium-235 is split apart. Think of it like a game of billiards. A neutron acts as a cue ball, striking a uranium atom, the wreck which then breaks into smaller pieces. This break releases a ton of energy, kind of like a firecracker bursts apart when ignited. But here is the cool part. That explosion isn't random. It also releases extra neutrons, which then go on to hit more uranium atoms, continuing the process. It's like a row of dominoes where knocking one over sets off a chain reaction. Except instead of falling dominoes, we get heat, a lot of heat. And that heat is what we use to generate electricity. In a nuclear power plant, the heat from fission is transferred to water, turn it into a high-pressure steam. This steam is directed toward the turbine, causing it to spin, which in turn drives a generator to produce electricity. Essentially, nuclear power plants function like advanced steam engines, but instead of burning coal or gas, they harness the immense power stored within atoms. One of the biggest advantages of nuclear energy is that it generates a massive and continuous supply of electricity, without releasing greenhouse gases, making it one of the cleanest and most efficient large-scale energy sources available today. So how does a nuclear reactor actually work? Let's break it down in a way that makes sense. Think of it as a giant high-tech steam engine powered by the tiniest building blocks of matter, atoms. At the heart of the reactor is the reactor core where nuclear fission happens. Imagine this like a giant campfire, but instead of burning wood, we're breaking apart atoms to release heat. The fuel is uranium or plutonium, shaped into tiny pellets that are stacked inside long metal tubes called fuel rods. Think of these fuel rods like logs in a fireplace, carefully arranged to keep the fire going at a steady rate. These rods are bundled together into fuel assemblies and arranged into a precise grid. A typical reactor can contain hundreds of these assemblies, working together to sustain a controlled chain reaction. This setup ensures the heat is spread evenly, keeping everything stable and efficient. But simply having a chain reaction isn't enough. It needs to be controlled. That's where the moderator comes in. Imagine you're bowling and you're rolling a ball that's moving way too fast. It just smashes through the pins without knocking them down properly. That's what happens when neutrons in the reactors move too quickly. The moderator, usually water or graphite, slows them down so they actually heat other atoms and keep the reaction going effectively. Water is a great choice because it also acts as a coolant, like a built-in temperature control system, carrying heat away from the core to keep everything from getting too hot. Now let's talk about safety. The fission process needs to be carefully regulated to avoid excessive heat buildup. And that's the job of control rods. Think of this like oven dials. They let you turn the heat up or down inside the reactor. These rods, made from neutron-absorbing materials like boron or cadmium, act like a brake pedal in a car. Pushing them in absorbs more neutrons, slowing the reaction. Pulling them out speeds things up. 
This lets operators precisely control the reactor's output. All of this happens inside a highly secure containment structure, a massive steel and concrete dome designed to keep radiation safely inside. Picture it like a thermos that keeps your drink hot but doesn't let the heat escape. This structure is built to withstand extreme conditions, ensuring the reactor stays safe even in the rare event of an accident. So how does all this turn into electricity? The heat generated from fission is transferred to a coolant, usually water, or in advanced reactors, liquid metals or molten salt. This heat turns water into steam, which spins a turbine connected to a generator, creating electricity. It's an incredibly efficient way to produce energy. And unlike fossil fuels, it doesn't release carbon emissions. With all these components working together, nuclear reactors provide a steady, reliable and clean energy source that can power millions of homes and industries. It's like having a high-tech, ultra-efficient kettle, but instead of boiling water for tea, it's generating electricity for entire cities. And not all reactors work exactly the same way. The two most common types are pressurized water reactors, or PWRs, and boiling water reactors, BWRs. PWRs keep the water under high pressure, so it doesn't boil inside the reactor. Instead, the heat is transferred to a separate loop of water, which then turns into steam. BWRs, on the other hand, boil water directly inside the reactor, and that steam spins the turbine. Both designs are widely used around the world. There are also next-generation designs, like small modular reactors, or SMRs, and advanced reactors that use molten salt or liquid metal as a coolant. These technologies aim to make nuclear power even safer and more efficient. Check out my previous video on SMRs for a deeper dive into how they work. So how widespread is nuclear power? Right now, over 30 countries operate nuclear power plants with the United States, France and China leading the way. In total, nuclear energy provides about 10% of the world's electricity. Some countries, like France and Slovakia, rely on it for up to 60% of their power. I know what you're thinking. What about radiation? Or what about accidents? Here is the reality. Nuclear power is actually one of the safest energy sources. Stringent regulations, advanced safety systems, and decades of engineering improvements make modern reactors incredibly secure. Did you know that per unit of electricity generated, nuclear power is safer than coal, oil, and even hydropower? That's because nuclear power plants don't release harmful air pollutants, which contribute to millions of premature deaths every year. So nuclear energy, super powerful, super clean, and way safer than most people think. What do you think? Should nuclear power play a bigger role in our future? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more nuclear knowledge. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.